close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Good day everyone, I'm Pancho Generous M, 21 years old, studying at Negros Oriental State University and I am one of the members of Kabilan Choir. I'm third year student, taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Filipino. And this video is task number 6 and it is all about the comparison of the teacher and the school curriculum between the Philippines and my chosen country university from Philippines and university from my chosen country which is Mexico. I choose Aureliano University from Philippines and Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico from Mexico. Aureliano University is a private co-educational and secretarian university located in Manila. It was founded in 1938 as a law school by Florentino Caico Senior, the first Filipino Under Secretary of Public Instruction. The university was named after Cayetano Arellano, the first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. It operates seven campuses located throughout Metro Manila, and the main campus is located along Ligarda Street, Sampaloc, Manila. Dariliano University School of Law is autonomous and managed by the Ariliano Law Foundation. Its athletic team, the Ariliano University Chiefs, is a member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association since 2009. Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico, or NONA, is located in the southern region of Mexico City, Mel and Bohemian Borough of Coyoacán, and the cultural and commercial neighborhood of San Angel. The UNAM campus called Ciudad Universitaria, often abbreviated to CU. Pronounced CU is an impressive city within a city that spawns 2,000 acres in the territory and features an ancient volcanic forest and ecological issues. Mexico City, also known as El for Distrito Federal, is the heart of Mexico. Many of Mexico's most well known intellectuals, writers, artists, scientists, and political leaders have studied at Ana. So physical of Arellano University, 
the Transitional Nursing Virtual Laboratory has a high-fidelity patient simulator in the form of Emergency Care Simulator, or ECS, which is designed to give students hands-on clinical experience and includes a critical care unit set. The ECS provides an anatomically correct feature-rich mannequin which allows for the physical demonstration of various clinical signs including bleeding, breathing, blinking eyes, and convulsions. The human psychology, psychology levels of the ECS provide appropriate responses to treatment, intervention, airway and oxygenation management, fluid administration, defibrillation, and the administration of drugs. Together, these systems deliver a realistic and objective training ground for learners to practice and perfect patient care without risk to real patients. Simulation Room or Emergency Care Simulator Emergency patient simulators are among the most recent technological advances in instructional methodologies for medical and nursing education. These interactive mannequins are capable of realistic, sociologic responses including respiration, pulses, heart sounds, breath sounds, urinary output, and pupil reaction. Additionally, the more advanced models can communicate with the student, responding to questions posed by the learner in real time during the simulation exercise. Panel room, this is also called the control room. The room is used for videotaping and testing purposes. Cameras, cameras are also provided to send data from one room to any other room to enhance students' education. This control room is attached to the simulation room and the 2MP room 3 where the mannequin including verbal communication can be controlled by the facilitators. The ECS operates using a Macintosh computer software. The simulator displays patient physiologic parameters on a, path, on a PC that emulates a patient care monitor. Control rooms attached to them with the mannequin, including verbal communication, can be controlled by the instructors. There is a video that is synchronized with the event log, providing a valuable tool debriefing. The simulators have interchangeable genitalia so that the mannequin can present as a male or a female. It is possible to adapt the appearance of the mannequin to present a range of ages from young adulthood to geriatric. Additionally, with the aid of a wig, makeup, and female clothing, the realism can be enhanced as the male mannequin is transformed into a female patient. The mannequin can also be successfully outfitted to present as a pregnant female with the appropriate props. TNP rooms, the transitional nursing program rooms, has a 50 student capacity. The rooms are equipped with the audio, visual equipment, and wireless internet connection. The rooms are utilized for lectures and presentations and also acts as a viewing room with access to the simulation laboratory. Students can observe ongoing simulation exercises of their classmates in the simulation laboratory from the TNP rooms. Physical plant in University, City Campus of Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico. The symbol of buildings, sport facilities, and open spaces of the Central University City Campus of the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico was built from 1949 to 1952 by more than 60 architects, engineers, and artists who were involved in the project. As a result, the campus constitutes a unique example of 20th century modernism, integrating urbanism, architecture, engineering, 
landscape design and fine arts with references to local traditions, especially to Mexico's pre-Hispanic past. The symbol embodies social and cultural values of universal significance as is one of the most significant icons of modernity in Latin America. Outstanding universal value, the Central University City Campus of Onem bears testimony to the modernization of post-revolutionary Mexico in the framework of universal ideals and values related to access to education, improvement of quality of life, integral intellectual and physical education and integration between urbanism, architecture, and fine arts. It is a collective work where more than 60 architects, engineers, and artists work together to create the spaces and facilities up to contribute the progress to humankind through education. The urbanism and architecture of the Central University City Campus of Onan constitute an outstanding example of the application of the principles of 20th century modernism merged with features stemming from pre-Hispanic Mexican tradition. The symbol became one of the most significant icons of modern urbanism and architecture in Latin America, recognized at universal level. The Central University City Campus of Onam constitutes a unique example in the 20th century where more than 60 professionals work together in the framework of a master plan to create an open architectural ensemble that bears testimony to, show, to social and cultural values of universal significance. The most important trends of architectural thinking from the 20th century converge in the Central University City Campus. Modern architecture, historicist, regionalism, plastic integration, the last two Mexican origin. The Central University City Campus is one of the few models around the world where the principles proposed by modern architecture and urbanism were totally applied. The ultimate purpose of which was to offer men a notable improvement in the quality of life, since all the fundamental physical components of the original and symbol remain and no major changes have been introduced. The property satisfies the required conditions of integrity and authenticity. The campus conserves unaltered its essential physical components or when designed buildings, open spaces, circulation system and parking areas, landscape design and works of art. Functions have not changed over time. The existing physical components therefore express the historic, cultural and social values of the end symbol and its authenticity of design, materials, subjects, workmanship, and functions. At the national level, the Central University City of Campus was let, listed as National Artistics Monument in July 2005 in the framework of the Federal Law on Archaeological, Artistic, and Historic Monuments and Zoos. At the local level, the campus and the Olympic Stadium are defined as heritage conservation zones in the framework of the district program for urban development in 1997 of Coyoacan delegation, one of the administrative units of Mexico City. Since the university is an autonomous organization, it has its own offices in charge of maintenance and conservation of the campus among them. The governing plan for University 1993 rules the future growth of the university facilities, uses of the land and maintenance of the campus. The integral plan for the university 
City of Thousand Fight that constitutes the current management plan for the campus. The physical components are in a good state of conservation and the process of aging is controlled by means of plans of maintenance and preservation of both free and constructed spaces. The Office for Special Projects of University developed and implements the integral plan for the university city. September 2005, with the aim of the implementing and monitoring the plan, the university will create the university management program. Student Services and Development in Aureliano University. The Office for Community Development serves as the extension and the outreach arm of the university and has a vigorously sustained process of social change and transformation towards self-sufficiency and self-reliance in Asian building over the years. The epoch of the social issues awareness and sustainable development has begun and the OCD of Aureliano University is doing its fair share and is endeavor through its different programs that cater to the urgent needs of our society. CONDEF undertakes sustainable community programs, outreach projects, medical and dental mission, educational livelihood skills, and empowerment seminars. Through the collaborative efforts of different colleges of Aureliano University, these programs had been a success for years and still working to further advance the interest of the poor and marginalized sector of society. Mission statement provide appropriate and relevant community outreach program and services that would empower partner communities to continue the process of development in their communities until they reach self-sufficiency and self-reliance. Empower students, staff, faculty, and administrators to act as active partners in national development inside and the outside campus. Services and development in the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, takes as a mission to teach higher education courses to educate professionals, researchers, university professors, and technicians who will provide a useful service to society, to organize and to carry out research, primarily on the national conditions and problems, and to extend with generosity the benefits of culture to all sectors of the population, its substantive functions are teaching research and dissemination of culture. Its organizational structure is divided into three subsystems to achieve its task. There are, on the one hand, education, which includes undergraduate, master, and doctoral programs, research, which is done in its schools and its institutes and centers of natural and exact sciences. And on the other hand, humanities and social sciences, as well as cultural dissemination. The National Autonomous University of Mexico has two high schools, the National Preparatory School with nine facilities, and the Sciences and Humanities School with five facilities. High school in Mexico corresponds to prepare from school and it is studied in three years after middle school and before the undergraduate degree. Undergraduate programs are taught in 22 schools and national schools located in Mexico City and its metropolitan area in some institutes, centers, and units located in different states and other infrastructure enables the university to offer one of the 17 programs in all the cities to use their knowledge. The university has five higher education schools, four in the state of Mexico and one in Mexico City, which were established in the 70s within the framework of an education decentralization project in order to benefit a larger number of students. 
introduce educational innovations to impel interdiscipline and multidiscipline to link research and teaching to integrate a theory and practice and to relate to its environment. Through the open university and the distance education system, it offers to manage two undergraduate programs, one technical program, one distance high school, four doctoral and 14 master's programs in 12 schools, two national schools, and one extension center in the university itself, as well as in the states of Chiapas, Mexico, Guerrero, Oaxaca, Tabasco, and Laxala. Four graduate programs with integrated curricula for master and doctoral programs. With the advantage and this are jointly thought by diverse academic, academic entities, international university schools, institutes, and centers offering the students a major variety of expert tutors in different branches of the discipline of their choice. It also offers 30 programs in 167 specializations. The coordination of humanities encourages the development of humanistic disciplines and of social sciences, disseminating the knowledge generated by the researchers of 10 institutes, seven centers, three programs, and an academic unit outside Mexico, city which constitutes the university subsystem of humanities. Research in scientific areas is done in 19 institutes, 10 centers, and 5 programs gathered in the coordination of the scientific research. The coordination of culture dissemination is the area of university in charge of fostering and disseminating culture and managing the university extension activities. To achieve this, the university counts with the Cultural University Center in University City, the Latin Local Cultural University Center, Radio Onam, as well as with 13 museums inside and outside of the university city. Aureliano University confers titles of honor with the Latin marks of distinction, which is the Soma Cum Laude, Magna Cum Laude, and the Cum Laude, to its graduates who have shown high scholastic performance in any of the four-year or five-year college courses and satisfied as well the required minimum academic residency in the university. Specifically, the candidate for graduation with honors in any four-year or five-year course must complete two-thirds of his or her curriculum program in the university. Second, comply with the required units for graduation graduation, including the ROTC or the NSTV. Third, show excellent behavior throughout his or her residence in the university. And the last, achieve high scholastic ratings in all subjects in order to satisfy the required general weighted average as follows. The summa cum laude, a general weighted average of not lower than 1.25 with no grade lower than a 1.5 in any subject. The magna cum laude, a general weighted average of not lower than 1.5 with no grade lower than 1.75 in any subject. Well, while the cum laude, a general weighted average of not lower than 1.75 with no grade lower than 2 point, with no grade lower than 2 in any such acts. Aureliano University also confers titles of honor to graduates of courses that take less than four years to complete who have shown high scholastic performance throughout their stay in the university. The candidates for graduation honors in these courses must earn all academic units for graduation in university with no grade lower than 1.75 and satisfy the required general weighted average as follows. With honors, a general weighted average of not lower than 1.75 with no grade lower than 2 in any subject. 
with high honors. A general weighted average of not lower than 1.5 with no grade lower than 1.75 in any subject. With highest honor, a general weighted average of not lower than 1.25 with no grade lower than 1.25 in any subject. Due recognition is given to students of Aureliano University who excel in their academic as well as extra class activities. The university presents to these deserving students certificates of recognition during a recognition and award giving program that the Central Guidance Office sponsors at the end of each semester. In the Graduate School of Aureliano University, the general weighted average of grades in all subjects are given as follow. A student in a graduate school of Aureliano University must not receive a grade lower than 1.5 in any subject taken in the university. His or her general weighted average must not be lower than 1.25. 1 1.25? So, the... The grade average of grades obtained in all subjects required for the course, so including thesis writing for the master's degree program or dissertation writing for the doctoral degree program. To qualify for graduation with honors, a student must not have any incomplete, dropped or failed mark in any subject, must complete at least two to three of the curriculum program at Adeliano University. So academic honors. Graduate and postgraduate students are conferred titles of honors upon completion of their course for high scholastic performance. Those who have obtained high grades receive any of the academic honors that corresponds to their high grades as follows. All students are qualified for the first screening to be conducted by the dean, provided they receive a minimum grade of 96% or its equivalent in the oral defense. For the second screening, the dean shall appoint three panelists who shall judge the thesis or dissertation based on the following criteria. The relevance and contribution to theory or body of knowledge or the subject of inquiry, scientific method in the conduct of the thesis or dissertation. The candidate receiving the highest grade shall be declared an awardee of the dissertation for the best thesis or dissertation. Universidad National Autonomo de Mexico Rankings Universidad National Autonomo de Mexico is ranked number 405 in best global universities. Schools are ranked according to their performance across a set of widely accepted indication of excellence. Graduated students, undergraduates, graduates, and bachelor's degree. Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico is a professional training institution with presence according to enrollment in 2021 in Ciudad de Mexico. Estado de Mexico got the 80,883, Ricoan de Ocampo 1,939, Guanajuato 1,245, Morelos 605, Queretaro 528, Yucatan 416, Baja California 118, and Tiapas 2, with most of the student body centered in the municipalities of Coyucan, have 151,806. Local Pandi Juarez 24,172, Mizawal Coyote 21,577. Quartelian is a Kale, 17,706, and Lani Pantla device, 17,428. In 2021, Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico had 257,681 enrolled, of which 48% were men and 52% were 
where women. In 2021, the institution had 39,273 undergraduates of these 17,791 were men and 21,482 women. The areas with the most graduates were social sciences and law, health sciences 9,648, and administration and business, which is 5,736. The institution had 23,042 bachelor's degree of these 10,087 were men and 12,955 women and being the areas with the most bachelor's degree students, social sciences and law, 6,979, engineering, manufacturing and construction and health sciences. In order to understand the better academic status, undergraduates, graduates and bachelor's degree, definitions are presented according to the glossary of the National Association of Universities and Institutions of Higher Education. Undergraduates, students who having approved all the subjects and established requirements of a study program during the immediately preceding school year is credited with their respective study certificate. Okay, the graduates, student who at the end of the previous school year obtain the degree that legally recognizes the completion of the studies program regardless of the year of graduation bachelor's degree student who at end of the previous school year obtain the title that legally recognizes the completion of the studies program regardless of the year of graduation Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico is a professional training institution with presence according to enrollment in 2021. In order to understand better the academic status of the undergraduates, various and bachelor's degree definitions are presented according to the glossary of the National Association of Universities and Institutions of Higher Education. So the undergraduates, students who having approved all the subjects and established requirements of a study program during the immediately preceding school year, is credited with an expected study certificate. The graduates, students who at the end of the previous school year obtained a degree that legally recognizes the complete of studies program, regardless of the year that we shot. So the visualization shows academic situation by campus and faculties of the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico. So in 2021, the discipline with the most male undergraduates degree in the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico, where unique medical specialties program, law degree, accounting degree, bachelor of surgeon, and degree in administration. In the case of women, the discipline with the most undergraduate are unique medical specialties program, degree in law degree, Bachelor of Surgeon, Degree in Psychology, and Degree in Administration. An ordinary striking worker may not be declared to have lost his employment status by mere participation in an illegal strike. The Aureliano University Employees and Workers Union, the union, the exclusive bargaining representative of about 380 ranked and file employees of Aureliano University Incorporation, or the university, filed with the National Conciliation and Meditation Board, or the NCMB, a notice of strike charging the university with unfair labor practice, or ULP. After several controversies and petitions, a strike was staged. Upon the lifting of the strike, the university filed a petition to declare the strike illegal before the National Labor Relations Commission, or the NLRC. The NLRC issued a resolution holding that the university was not guilty of ULP, consequently the strike was declared illegal. All the employees who participated in the illegal strike were thereafter declared to have lost their employment status. So the issue, whether or not an employee is 
deemed to have lost his employment by more participation in an illegal strike. Held under Article 264 of the Labor Code, an ordinary striking worker may not be declared to have lost his employment status by mere participation in an illegal strike. There must be proof that he knowingly participated in the commission of illegal acts during the strike while the university adduced photographs showing strikers picketing outside the university premises, it failed to identify who they were, it thus failed to meet the substantiality of evidence test applicable in dismissal cases. With respect to the union officers, as already discussed, their mere participation in the illegal strike warrants their dismissal. Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico has adopted these policies so that its employees understand the standards of conduct each employee is expected to meet in his or her employment with honor and to assist in avoiding situations that might reflect unfavorably upon himself or herself. So this handbook was developed to provide you with an information resource for common questions and concerns. So this is intended to supplement the provisions which set forth principles and procedures concerning honest and candid conduct conflicts of interest, compliance with law, job opportunities, confidential confidentiality, fair, dealing, and protection, and proper use of assets. Since 1944, Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico has symbolized a tradition of academic and cultural collaboration between Mexico and United States. Our mission is to promote a better understanding between both countries by disseminating the culture of Mexico and the teaching of Spanish as a foreign language and English as a second language. USA is a nonprofit corporation formed under the laws of the United States of America and the state of Texas. In order to provide equal employment and advancement opportunities to all individuals' employment decisions at the university will be based on merit, qualifications, and abilities. The university does not discriminate in employment opportunities or practices on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, national origin, age, or any other characteristic protected by law. This policy governs all aspects of employment, including selection, job assignment, compensation, discipline, terminations, and access to be benefits and training. Any employee with questions or concerns about any type of discrimination in the workplace are encouraged to bring these issues to the attention of their immediate supervisor, the business manager or director of the university employees can raise concerns. Any employee with questions or concerns about any type of discrimination in the workplace are encouraged to bring these issues to the attention of their immediate supervisor, the business manager, or director of the university. Employees can raise concerns and make reports without fear of reprisal. Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico has adopted a code of ethics and conduct which we expect all employees to strive to achieve. First is be honest, fair, and impartial. Act prudently and with integrity and adhere to the highest standards of ethical conduct considering the interest of the university, its employees, clients, colleges, and your profession. Next, 
accept responsibility for your continued professional development by acquiring and maintaining competence through continuing education, experience, and professional training. Next, conduct your professional relations with the highest standards of integrity and avoid situations which compromise your professional judgment or create conflicts of interest. Act in a manner free of prejudice with regard to race, religion, ethnicity, gender, age, national origin, sexual orientation, disability, or any other status protected under the law. So the hours of operation or work schedules. The university is normally open from 8 a.m. until 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Work schedules are established in accordance with the needs of the university. Efficient management of personal resources and to assure optimum efficiency and economy, employees may be assigned to different work schedules and or shifts within normal office hours. However, there may be times when employees will be required to work hour outside the hours stated above. Work schedules and or shifts will be assigned by the business manager or director of the university. No employee may work more than 40 hours during any work week unless the additional hours of work has been assigned by management or has been requested by management to work additional hours outside of normal work schedules. You must take a one-hour unpaid lunch break. The business manager can approve an exception to this rule on an as-needed basis prior to the occurrence. You receive paychecks on the 15th and the last day of each month. A complete year will have 24 payroll periods. You are required to report all hours you work by using the university's timekeeping system. You are responsible for reviewing and signing your timesheet by the end of each pay period. Your signature on the timesheet is your verification that the time card is a record of all hours you worked during each work week. If there is an error on your timesheet, please notify the business manager so that the error can be investigated and corrected if necessary all. All employees are expected to work the hours assigned by management of the university.